Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a lot of slots in the collection log. In this video, we pass over 1,100 unique items collected and complete a very unexpected section in the collection log. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. Oh, dude, no way. I, I'm i just chilling here AFKing and we just got the Wyvern Visage. Finally. I mean, we, we're only a tiny bit dry, like literally just the tiniest bit dry. I, I put that in at the end of the video uh, in the last video that we were at just over 12,000 kills, but now we just got it. Oh my gosh, let's check our KC. We got it at 12,653, so we were just barely over the drop rate and there it is unfortunately only like 19.4 mil but still an amazing drop let's just got to put it in the price checker just to see it oh it's beautiful let's go sell this bad boy well it seems like it's going to take a while to sell into the ge it said the average price was like 17 million so there's people merching these really hard maybe i'll just end up making it into the actual shield here in a minute but nevertheless, let's peek at that Slayer Log. Oh, it looks so good. The only things we're missing from the Slayer Log now is the Eternal Gem, all of the uh, Dusk Brimstone, and that's it. That's it. I seriously thought there was one more item. Wow. So we really just need to do Konar Slayer now until the end of time and pray to God that we get the Eternal Gem before we get the full Dusk Mystic set. And look at this. We're only one item away from 1,100 unique slots filled into the collection log. I think we should do some Konar Slayer, get like 100 Brimstone Keys, maybe more just depending on how I'm feeling and see if we could finally get a piece of Dusk Mystic. There we go. The Wyvern Visage sold for 18 million gold. Kind of not worth the 100 plus hour grind to get it, but you know, 18 mil is 18 mil. First test Conar gave us was Addy Dragons, and I got really excited when I saw red on the ground, but it's just a dragon plate scare. I mean, it's still good money, ah, but it's not the item we need. Well, I knew the good fortune couldn't last forever. We've got our first Hydra's task. Only 139 though, you know, not as overwhelming as the usual one, but Hydra might be more bearable now. They did do an update somewhat recently that made it so the boss does a little animation when it switches attack styles, so maybe it's a bit more laid back. Not that a boss that drops like 2 million gold an hour in alcohols needs to be super laid back. Oh, just one Hydra kill got me a couple combat tasks there. Pretty easy. All right, two master ones. You know, not saying I'm insane at the game, but uh, I'm insane at the game. Oh, next kill, we got two more master tasks done. Listen, I'm telling you guys, I may be the next Wooks. Oh, I guess we also did the speed task. You know, this is kind of why I decided probably not going to do specific videos on the, like, master or below tier of the combat achievements. If I do a series on these, it'll probably just be, like, the grandmaster and maybe some of the master because... Like, most of these tasks are just not that hard, and I, I really don't know how to make a video that's entertaining out of that. This is why we do the Hydra, folks. 44 enchanted Onyx Bolts. Ah, oh, it's so, so beautiful. And for the Redwood Tree Seed drops, obviously. These are incredibly rare. Oh, now that is a drop. 47 Onyx Bolts and a Hydra's Eye. Easily one of the best drops you can get from this boss. Oh, yeah, I think this is the first ring piece. I think we're starting a whole new ring process here. But, yeah, there we go. One third of the ring. We're only about 34 kills into this task. But all in one trip, by the way. I've been thinking about making the Crystal Armor for an even bigger prayer bonus. And then I'll just bring even more Divine Ranging Potions in here. Maybe we could do, like, 50 kill trips. It's going to be, like, two hours straight of Hydra. This was probably my longest trip at Hydra ever. This was a 46 kill trip. And the only reason I ended it was because I really, really had to go to the bathroom. That 30 second respawn time is not enough to make the run. But yeah, look at that, almost 4.5 mil GP, plus the like 650k that one piece of the brimstone ring is worth. So it's like a 5 mil trip at Hydra. It's probably there for like 2 hours. So uh, yeah, in case you're wondering if this boss is still good, yeah. It's still good. And 2,600 kill count at the Hydra, just inching closer to that pet drop rate. We're going to get there. I swear it, and I am totally not getting burnt on this. I love this task. This task is just so fun. If you don't like this task, you're crazy. Oh, hey, looky there. A Hydra leather. Nice. That's an easy 3 point mil added to the cash stack. 3 point mil? Wow. I am not feeling good today. 3.8 mil added to our cash stack. Pretty nice. I think we're close to being able to afford a full Boa Fardhine and Crystal Armor set. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till I can afford all of it together. But then again, I keep thinking, like, where am I even going to use it, right? Like, the Twisted Bow is pretty much better everywhere. Uh, really? I, I swear, I honestly did not remember that Hydra dropped Elite Clues. It's been a long time since I've seen one of those drops from Hydra. But I'll take it, man. Any Elites I can get, I will take. Now, listen... I wish I turned these into Masters. A lot of people ask me why I don't turn my Elites into Masters. It's because I still need Collection Log slots in the Elite tier, and you can get Master Clues from Elites. But one day, one day I'll do a huge Master opening, I promise. 
and there's a Hydra's Fang. All right, there's two out of the three ring pieces in this one task. To be fair, not the most amazing thing that's ever happened. I have finished an entire ring in one task before. We could see if we could do that again. We've got 69 kills left. More Hydra heads, yeah. Oh, hey, dude, no way. You might not even notice it because I have my drop things off, but, uh... Jar of Chemicals, 16,000 gold. I literally don't know where to fit this into my inventory because my inventory is so monstrously full of loot right now. I have, I have no space for anything. And uh, there's like 70,000 super restores on the ground right there. There's 10 of them. I just keep getting them. I can't stop it. Oh, and for those who don't know, the reason I'm not like excited at all is I think that's my second jar of chemicals that I've gotten. It's like one in 2,000, so I guess we're uh, pretty spooned on the jar of chemicals, which is worth like 17,000 gold, so not really the thing you want to get spooned on, but hey, it looks beautiful. And once again, ending a trip at Hydra, not because I'm out of supplies, but simply because I have to go pee. And check that out, our fourth brimstone key of this trip. This has been an amazing trip. And there we go, the Hydra task is finally over. Good night, Hydra. Anything nice for me no nothing at all you rude little fella yeah i actually did this task in i think two days which is pretty much a world record for me normally it takes me like a week to do these tasks but here we are oh look a random crystal impling when i'm going to do a slayer task in the ireworth dungeon it's my lucky day what are we gonna get give me an elite clue come on baby a crystal acorn it's the one thing on that table that's like worth nothing oh yeah jellies in the catacombs this might not seem like a good task to the layman's but you can actually barrage the jellies, and they have a really good drop rate of hard clues. So I'm going to go ahead and do this hard clue that I've got. And then if I get one from the task, we've got a free hard clue. See what I mean? One jellies task. we got three brimstone keys, a free hard clue, some rune kite shields, and now Necreals on the Slayer Tower. Ugh, that's okay, but I don't, really, I don't know if it's worth it. Yo, a nice side effect to going for bird's eggs. A very nice side effect to going to bird's eggs is the free clues you get. We just got an elite clue, and then a medium clue back-to-back -back from Redwood Birdhouse Nests. Uh, it's got to be a little uncommon, but, you know, I'd rather have the bird's eggs if I'm being honest. I really want to know if anyone's made a list of how many brimstone keys you get per hour per task. If you guys know of anything like that, please do share, because I thought this task would be terrible and I used to skip it, but now that I'm testing how many kills per hour I can get, it's like over three brimstone keys an hour, which is very, very good, in my opinion. The only tasks better than that are the barrage tasks, so I do wonder if someone should put together a list of this. So, uh, yeah, I got nine brimstone keys this task. Um, let's pretend that it wasn't me getting insanely lucky and that Necrodils in the Slayer Tower is actually just the new meta for Konar because I like it better that way. I forgot Konar gave these. We got Smoke Devils in the Smoke Devil Dungeon, which are insanely good. You can kill them super fast. Probably the best task for Brimstone Keys. But we're going to be doing the boss because we still need that ever so elusive jar of smoke that was added into the game, which I still curse Jagex for adding because I already had the log finished and they ruined it. I'm way too lazy to edit these in, but I want you guys to just pretend I put those little like and subscribe things on the screen, did that little, the little ding with the bell or whatever, and then you guys press all those buttons. Thank you. Oh, hey, isn't that something? A smoke battle staff. I've had one of these before already, so it's already in the log, but... 900,000 gold. I, I didn't have that before. I'll take it. Yay, we're done with my least favorite task in the entire game. Passed over 1,700 kill count. I consider that to be an accomplishment, although I will say I got a little bit burnt and literally stopped playing for like four hours today, so maybe I'll just skip my Smoke Devil tasks if they're doing that much harm to me. Also, fire making XP. Cool. <laughs> That's a good one. So I've been lacking a little bit on my birdhouse runs. I only have 12 eggs. I'm very sorry. I know. Massive disappointment to you guys. I'm trying to pick back up on them, okay? I promise. But we got 12 eggs, and there's something really important I need to show you. Watch this. Look at that. There is a counter now for the bird egg shrine so we can actually keep track of how many eggs we've used. Now, this doesn't keep track retroactively. I'm pretty sure we used 100 to 200 eggs in the past. There's no way of me knowing. But uh, let's go ahead and use these 12 and get our counter going. Can you imagine if we got an evil chicken piece for our 1100th collection log slot filled? And no, but you know, the dream is there. It'll happen one day. And how much money did we make from those 12 eggs? 88k. That is much better than usual. Hey, an Abbey Whip from this Abbey Demons task. Also, I've started barraging them in the catacombs. Uh, I just like to dart them on this side and then get the rest of them on the other side with like shadow, not shadow barrage, what's it called? Smoke blitz, just so they don't uh, de-aggro, because if you run too far from the middle, the ones on this side will de-aggro, so you could just kind of snipe them like that. Anyways, we got an Abyssal Whip, and it's worth under 2 million gold. Might be the saddest thing I've ever seen. You would not believe it. I'm just sitting here 
eaten some of the best tortilla chips in my life. All right, they're flavored spicy guacamole. All right, J trust me, you got to give it a try sometime. But completely unrelated, we just got to smoke battle staff. That's two in one task. Pretty solid and easy 900k to the back. Wait, not two in one task. This is a completely different task. You see how the days just melt together when you play this much RuneScape? And there's the task done. Look at that kill count. 1847. Pretty solid. Uh, still, still not enjoying this task if I'm being honest, but I'm soldiering through. Wow, I really did not expect that. We just got a pair of dragon limbs on this rune dragons task here. They're not exceptionally rare. I think it's like one in 400. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. If I'm right, it ain't going on the screen. You can't bully me for not putting it on the screen okay but look at these they're only 600k oh the good old days when these first came out and this was like an 8 mil bonus drop you'd get all excited and now people have so many alts farming it that this you might as well alk it right i don't know why but there's just something about this blood veld that is telling me we are gonna get a good drop there's just something about this blood veld that's giving me a good vibe what do we get never mind so we now have over 50 brimstone keys and I am ready to unlock this chest. We have opened it just over 300 times, but it's actually over 400 times because I did 100 of these keys pretty much right after they came out before they added the counter, of course, as all these things do. So we're at 401 and we do not have any pieces of Dusk Mystic for those uninitiated. I am 2x the rate, unfortunately. Is another Slayer tab? Yeah, there we go. I'm 2x the rate with no pieces. A little unfortunate, but you won't catch me complaining. Anyways, let's see these 51 keys let's get three pieces of dusk mystic to make up for it some pretty decent loot so far we've gotten a lot of celastra seeds so i expect this to be at least around or a little bit above the average value but with 10 keys left i'm just going to close my eyes and open these 10 keys i think that you open one like every three game ticks so hopefully when i open my eyes in 18 seconds we have a piece of dusk mystic you guys will be able to see it if we've gotten it right now you know it and i don't i mean except for the fact that this video is going to be uploaded like at least a week after i'm recording this so i actually know before you guys do but anyways we got to be close to the ending i'm going to open my eyes we got nothing we got nothing but disappointment and sadness but that's okay <laughs> let's do the price check on 50 keys yep that is above average value so i will take that 5.7 mil now, to be completely fair, I have been slaying for like three days straight nonstop. Look at that. We got over 300,000 Slayer XP today. So, uh, yeah, may maybe not worth like 20 plus hours just to get uh, 5 mil, but, you know, <laughs> now we're 450 dry on Dusk Mystic. So, cool flex. Dude, we just got another elite clue from Birdhouse Runs. Is this what I've been missing out on? Are these that common or am I just getting insanely lucky? I've literally gotten more elite clues from Birdhouses in the past few days than I have bird eggs. I don't know what's going on. So I got a little burnt and decided I'm just going to AFK some czars. At first, I actually wasn't AFKing. I was gathering them all up and barraging them down. But eventually, I just bought the upgraded Toxic Trident that holds like 20,000 shots. And it loaded that bad boy up and afk -ed. Here's a little drop compilation of all the loot I got. Lots of obby capes, a couple weapons. But finally, at the end, we managed to snag the plate body, which is the last item I needed for the czar log. Absolutely amazing. I couldn't capture my live commentary. I was playing zombies. Sorry about that. So yeah, we're now at 1,100 unique items in the collection log, which is cool. In case you guys don't know, I do have to explain this. Sometimes I know it's a little confusing. I go off collection log slots, which is this number here. The official Jagex counter is unique items. So like if I get a dragon pickaxe, I count that as several slots because it's at the Chaos Elemental. It's at Callisto, you know, so on and so forth. But it only counts for one in the official collection log menu. But yeah, we are 265 items away from fully filling in the collection log, which is never going to happen. Don't worry, it's never going to happen. Also, I don't remember if I showed it in the other clip, but look at the new green section. We do not get green sections very often. This is our collection log is done. It's so beautiful. I want to, I guess you could say a tiny bit dry on the obby plate body, so I got three other dupe items. But you know what? I'm not upset. I'm so happy. It just looks amazing. I've returned to the battleground of the bots and valiantly fought to get myself back up to, oh, yep, yeah, let me just, bloop, 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 there, and then uh, got ourselves 160 points so we could buy the dead man legs, and, oh god, that, excuse me, there's another collection log slot. I've just got no idea what to do in the game right now, but I have some clue caskets in my bank, so let's open them up, medium clues, not so great, the hard clues, oh my goodness, first one, some Sarah D. Hyde boots, that's what you like to see, and a master, let's go. I'll happily take more of those master clues if you're handing them out, oh, a trimmed glory, that thing looks so cool. And the next hard clue is a bunch of garbage, but that's okay because we have three elite clues and a little PSA. You guys, if you're stacking elite clues, don't open them yet. Eventually, I think Jagex might be fixing them. They actually scuffed the third age rate on elite clues by adding more gilded 
to the mega rare table instead of adding it to the sub table in the mega rare table it's kind of hard to explain but trust me third age from elites is like two or three times as rare as any other clue because jagex done messed up and that's just how it is can we get any uniques from these three elite clues we got another mithril dragon mask and correct me if i'm wrong but i think that might be like one of the only dragon masks i've ever gotten yep i've only ever gotten bronze and mithril and i just keep getting them i think they're all just as rare as each other so uh that kind of hurts i actually almost forgot to open my bloodhound real quick oh it's a mimic oh cool i'm getting the bloodhound and the third age ring awesome and the mimic is done for let's see what we get in this clue uh we got 500 blood runes which is it is one of the best mimic rewards you can get but uh you know, I want my little puppy. So I think I'm going to take it easy for a little bit and just charge some Amulets of Glory on the Fountain of Rune to go for the Amulet of Eternal Glory. For those who are uninitiated in my loathsome grind here, I have done about 75,000 charges, which means I'm about three times the drop rate of this. Seriously, one of the dumbest things to go dry on in this entire game. Everyone else I know that does collection log stuff got absolutely spooned on this, so it does hurt me to not have this, but maybe today's the day. Maybe today's the day. We finish up the Zar log, and I was decently dry on those. So hopefully we could just knock out the Eternal Glory as well. Call it a day. First off, thank you, Lunardini. I appreciate the good lucks, my man. I hope your good lucks come through and I get the glory. Second off, I just thought of something that will actually change my glory runs for a long time. The Ring of Endurance. How did I forget about this thing? This will make my stamina's last for four runs instead of just for two so that I don't have to keep pulling stamina's out of the bank as often. This won't speed it up a ton, but it'll save me like a couple seconds every run, which is nice. All right, last inventory of glories. Please let this be the one. Come on, you know it could happen. Dang it. Nice little side effect about doing birdhouse runs and kingdom for uh, bird eggs is you get all these nests. I just opened up all the ring nests and a seed nest, and there's an extra 14.6 mil to the bank, plus actually probably probably close to like 2 mil extra from these spirit seeds if I trade them into the farming guild. So yeah, do your birdhouse runs. Even if you're a main account, you make an insane amount of money. So I have no idea where this came from, but I kind of have the motivation to do barrows right now. And if I've got the motivation to do barrows, I'm jumping on it because it happens once in a blue moon. For all of you who've been following the series, you know we're just missing the Torex plate legs and we have seen our fair share of other items. So hopefully we can nab those. But more importantly, I kind of feel like doing some elite clue scrolls. I know I said the third age rate was terrible earlier, but there's still so many normal uniques that I need to get from them. So I'm just going to keep doing elite clues for now. And uh, hopefully we can nab a couple. I'm hoping we can get at least like three or four elites and maybe a couple barrows items. I'll just grind this for a few hours, see how it goes. And here's coming in our first item, a Guthans War Spear worth 600,000 gold, which is pretty good for barrows these days, actually. Unfortunately, most of this stuff's not worth that much. So 600k is nearly the best you're going to get. And another item, just a few chests later, a Varix Brassard. Not bad, it's 200k. We're almost up to a mil GP in items. And a Varix Skirt, very nice. We got half the Varix set we're looking very clean and we're almost done with our first hour of barrows so we can see how many we're going to be able to run per hour it's looking like it's over 20 per hour with the method i'm doing i'm not actually like killing the skeletons or blood worms i'm just killing the brothers and rushing straight to the chest so 20 an hour is not bad okay it's been about an hour and i have finished 23 barrows runs in one hour which is pretty insane you could take one off for the extra three minutes and say it's 22 runs but that's pretty good. That's over one item per hour on average. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can nab those plate legs. Oh my gosh, we just got an incredible item. You guys are literally not going to believe it. I missed the recording because my mic was so far away. It doesn't matter. We got Torex Hammers, baby. Look at that. How much is it worth? 80k? 96k? Wow, somebody's paying almost 100,000 for these bad boys. Varex Helm now. Wait a minute. Have we gotten like a lot of Varex pieces or is it just the skirt? Okay, it's the skirt, the brassard, and the helm in the past 62 Barrows chests. If we just get that flail, we'll have a full Varex set in under 100 chests. Come on, let's do it. We just got what is, in my opinion, objectively probably the worst item you can get, the Aram's Hood. Uh, not that it's a terrible piece of equipment or anything, you know, it's got some pretty decent mage bonuses, almost the same as Ancestral, just two less, and no magic damage, but, uh, it looks ugly, I mean, seriously, look at this, it ain't a good look. And there is 1900 Barrows chest, quickly approaching that beautiful 2000 
Maybe we just finish off 2,000 now. I mean, that's only going to be like five hours of barrows. And I know to some people, only five hours of barrows sounds like an absolutely miserable time. But I can assure you, it's a miserable time for me too. First chest of the day. And I mean, speaking of chests, it's the Durak plate body worth over 700,000 bones. That's what I like to see. And another Aram's hood to add to our collection. Yippee. This is like our... What is it, like our eighth or ninth item we've gotten so far? You know, we're getting halfway to the, uh, I guess you could say the rate, you know, since there's 24 Barrows items, it's like a 1 in 24 chance of getting the legs every time we get an item. Okay, uh, really? <laughs> really? It's starting to feel like a cruel joke, man. Three Aram's Hoods in under a 24-hour period. How many Aram's Hoods do I have now? They gotta be catching up. Eight! We have eight. Eight Aram's Hoods. They're almost caught up to my world record nine Darox Great Axes. Not actually a world record. There are some crazy people out there that have done like 10,000 Barrows chests. But we've got a competitor. You're kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That's that's them? I, I literally don't believe what I'm seeing. I, I, it took me like a couple seconds to start recording because I just sat here staring at them. I'm like, those are Darox plate legs, right? No. They're Torex plate legs. I was legitimately thinking about stopping at 1950 because I was so annoyed at this. But look at that. Barrows is complete. Sub 2,000 chests. Oh my god, dude. I could actually cry. This is so beautiful. Now, you may consider some of my escapades at Barrows a little unlucky. But honestly, it's it's only mildly unlucky. I think the average to finish is like 1,400 or 1,600. So we only want a couple hundred chests dry. But we're done with it. It's green. It looks so damn good we got two collection log slots or two collection log sections into the green in this one video wow i am absolutely blown away and we actually got quite lucky on elite clues during this adventure i think we got seven elite clue caskets to open so let's do those right now this is like a celebration of getting the torex plate legs finally wow and the torex plate legs are worth almost 600k i don't know why i thought they were going to be closer to alc value but anyways i literally don't care what comes from these elite clues i'm super happy uh yeah dragon longsword oh i'm over the moon master clue let's go one very, very kind master clue is done. No triple steps. Thank you, RN Jesus. I appreciate that. Can we get anything from these elites? Even if it's a dupe, I won't be upset. It's a mimic. This has potential. I almost forgot to grab the mahogany plank, which actually curses you with bad luck. Never forget the mahogany plank. If you do, you're a terrible person. What are we getting from this mimic? 15 raw manta rays. Let's put that in the price checker. How much is that worth? It's got to be a couple billion. <laughs> oh, mama. One more elite, and it's there's six more elites with no uniques. That's so sad. I don't know why elites are so bad, man. They're, they take, like, so long to do and so long to get, and they're just so bad. Masters, on the other hand, whoo, boy, there, there's something. And so I think I'm going to end the video off here. We made some great progress. We got two new sections completed in the log. I'm still in disbelief we actually got the Torax plate legs. Let me count how many Barrows uniques we got in total before we hit the legs. We got the Torax legs on our 99th Barrows item. The, all the rest of these 98 items added together. And then we got the Torax on the 99th. I guess that's, uh, that's symbolic or something. Some RuneScape meme. I don't know. You guys are more clever than me. You can come up with a cute little joke in the comments. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Y'all know how you can support it. All those cute little buttons you can hit down below. You don't need me to remind you. You're adults. Or not. You shouldn't be watching this if you're not an adult. I say very bad words in these videos. Anyways, I might be taking a little hiatus on the Collection Log series as if I've only been uploading like two a month anyways because they take so long to make. It might be taking a little bit of time off for this. I'm working on another Collection Log related series that you guys might be seeing very soon. I hope you guys enjoy the videos and I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.